Mark, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. <laughs> uh, first off, thank you, James, Harris, Phil, for um, putting up the show uh, in the first place. My feeling is that it's completely consistent with journalist uh, work because this is my journalism, you know, my you know way of recording um, the world and, and what goes on inside of me. I think it's really important to note that we, every single person in this room, and for that matter on Earth, um, sees differently than the person next to you or, or, or the person across the world. The, the commonality is is there, and, and it's not because it's you know defined by one's own DNA, literally, and as unique as that is, and um, one's own experiences that contribute and further complicate that DNA to form who we are and how we see and what means something to us. And to start is to start at the beginning. Um, once upon a time, I guess that's sort of a trite way to start, but. Um, I uh, was a young boy in New York City uh, at uh, 12 years old. I would photograph the, the, the hippie culture at the Bethesda Fountain where there was a gathering each weekend. Um, you, you know, music and uh, the people in the fountain and uh, very pretty people. And I would go as a 12 year old boy with my Nikon, dare I say it in this room, with a, a 200 millimeter lens and I would document what I thought was pleasing to me. I figured out a way and I picked up um, a light bulb and uh, with a, a Summicron lens, and that became my new camera. I, I now have this camera that is a fi has a 50 millimeter lens, and so I'm, I'm not, I don't have this distance anymore. So now I'm forced, when I go back to the park to shoot the hippie culture and the, the pretty <coughs> young girls, um, I'm forced to change my way of working. So when you think about what a horrible thing, you got held up at gunpoint in New York City, your cameras were stolen, but yet, the good that came out of it was literally a lifetime of my way of working, which is to have a small, unobtrusive um, camera that allows people to be themselves. And um, it, 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 it provide, I, I provide a safe environment where people are, are not being judged based a career on these cameras, when it was not fashionable to do so, necessarily. And it was an interesting thing, because she comes, and um, it's very precocious, but she, she comes and she goes, oh, I brought a bathing suit. <laughs> okay. uh, the rods are singular, and they're only black and white, monochrome. And so I can't see color at this point at all. I can just see shape and barely. And so I picked it up, boom, and I looked, and it's, it's flashing. It says 60 seconds. It says 60. I don't, I don't even know what it meant at this point. 60 seconds. So I have two choices. You all know what those choices are. Um, I chose the latter, uh, and I just held my breath and I took the picture, and 60 seconds later, then it does something else for 60 seconds. I still don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> but it's magical. People say, you know, digital. You know, a lot of Leica people, and I'm a lifelong Leica people. This body of work um, be, uh, was over a period of eight months about because it was so impressive for me, just me, not for you guys because it's absolutely individual. Thank you for coming here, by the way, today, seeing these images large enough so you can actually see because on the current you know, handheld devices or